Today, I'm going to show you my meat and how to cook it. In this video, not only am I going to teach you the easiest way to cook perfect steak every time, but I will make cast iron believers out of each and every one of you. So come together right now in the pan. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. If you're a fan of ribeyes, I find their cheaper, just as tasty cousin Chuck Eye will not disappoint. And my second tip for the day, just before cooking, let your meat warm to room temperature for max tenderness. So make sure to heat that skillet up nice and hot with just a very thin coating of oil before adding the steaks. And I did season these with one of my favorite rubs, but somehow didn't film that part. Pay close attention. This is going to go quick. I'd say two to three minutes per side, depending on the thickness of the steak and how you like it cooked. For thicker cuts or for more well done, add a minute or two per side. Once they're turned, we're going to toss in a knob of butter and some chopped garlic. This is when a vent hood comes in handy. Trust me, you and the entire house are going to smell like God's armpit. So as that melts, we're going to start spooning it over the meat. If this is your first time spooning meat, please let us know in the comments. If you're experienced, DM me. Oh yeah. Once the second side is finished cooking, I usually flip the steaks one final time to check that both sides have that beautiful crust and to give it one final baste before removing them from the pan. Look at those beauties. If Otos was a magazine, they would be our plate mates of the month. And of course, you just have to pour all that delicious browned butter and caramelized garlic over the top. You've heard of a mic drop. Well, this is what I like to call a fork drop. Just drop it and strut away like you own the kitchen. The pairing of meat and potatoes has been around for centuries in various forms throughout the world. In America, it was once so common that the 19th century has been called the meat and potatoes century. Fortunately, nowadays, we can get virtually any cut of meat and cook it any way we choose. Trust me though, it's tough to beat cast iron seared steak with these amazing smashed potatoes. You can find a link to that recipe in the description. So stay gold, pony boys and girls, and as always, thanks for watching.